Hello everyone and welcome back to the cutest start to a win win world episode ever. There's a pack of manhunting cats after us. Two cats out on the prowl for man flesh. And unfortunately, oh no. More than two cats. And they are pissed. Two cats was funny. Five cats actually might be dangerous. Because cats are bastards. So let's, let's get people in our defensive lines right now. Which is definitely something we need to work on. My defences are bad. I'm going to let Bobby carry on doing his whatever he's up to. Because Bobby's got a sniper rifle. And sniper rifles aren't going to do much against cats. And I trust Igor and Anderson to do their shit. Then again. That's taking its time. So come on. Get behind the wall. And let the horde of kittens come at us. You focus this one. It's getting away. Okay, so most of the cats are dead. Oh no, why am I disallowing that? I still don't understand why some of them go disallowed when they die and some of them don't, but whatever. This one's still alive and... Okay, I'll cut his paws off. Like his... Both his back paws, so he'll be walking around and dragging himself around on front paws. So on that alone, I'm going to kill him. I can't, I can't have a two-pawed cat around the colony eating my food. Oh, the sound he made when he died. Oh, you poor little thing. Okay, no, don't worry about it, Ryan. Don't worry about it. So, uh, I think I'm going to give Bobby the peen... I don't know if that's a good idea or not. The, the sniper seems really good. But obviously, it's a little bit situational, and maybe I'm not using it in the correct situations all the time. But one thing I'm definitely going to do, unforbid these cats, and just, it's not, it's going to look a little bit ugly. But I'm just going to drag this out even further. Because that just looks horrible, I hate it. But I want these to be channeled from a longer distance, because I think if you look at, say, oh, I accidentally called everyone into their, their zones. Oh, it's only Bobby has a zone anyway. But uh, if you look at the, their ranges, they're quite quite long. I mean, let's test this. Let's get him standing in his zone. We have the granite chunks to do it a little bit. Yeah, we have loads of granite, so it's not a big deal. Oh, that's perfect. My... That is absolutely fucking perfect. So yeah, as soon as he comes into there... He's going to get shot up, so it's not a problem at all. And Igor got actually fucked up a little bit. Yeah, he's fine. He's fine. I just kind of <laughs> concentrated on my own things. I forgot that mm, people might need help. It's not a big deal. He's fine. He's getting fed. So he's building in. It's been a while since I've played it. Oh, they, they all do everything as well, so that's... I haven't actually quite nailed down a system yet. I want to get like five colonists back up again to five colonists before I nail down a system of who does what. And make this all my home area as well. So then it gets healed. Repaired, I should say, to be more technical. And there's no bill to butcher the animals, so let's butcher creature do forever. Is that sculptor's table? Don't worry about that. Stone blocks do forever, yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah, so let's make another sculpture. I know it's not the biggest thing in the world right now. Is that a large sculpture? Yeah, large sculpture. I think the grand ones take up four spaces, so let's make a large sculpture. Two make two large sculptures. Like I said, not the biggest thing in the world right now, but shit, type, things have been tough. And I want to reward that by giving them a slightly impressive bedroom. Because, look, he's doing okay. He's frustrated because transhumanist. Bobby, all his woes are behind him. His dead family is behind him now. He's happy. So I'm, I'm happy with how things are going to go on. Now, the question is, how are we going to expand from here? 
Our prison's a little bit shit. Maybe we can expand our prison a little bit, but we don't have much space with our power generation taking it what it does. Really, what I want to aim to do is geothermal power, so we can don't have to focus on... We can use this space for something usable then. Or maybe start building a base behind us a little bit. I know we're under the mountain there, and we want to avoid that, but also... There's no avoiding that anymore. So I might do it. I might dig out this here, expand the base, put in more bedrooms so we can accommodate the five people we're looking for. We also want to research tree sowing. And to do that, we've got research microelectric, so we can replace this with a... With a... Where, where is the with a... High tech research bench if we give it two more. So you know what? I'm just going to dig out all of this here. You know, this is inside our base. We don't want this inside our base. And now our, our kill tunnel's up and running again. I'm going to have to think of some ideas how to perfect that, but at least it's a little bit longer now. We need to find a way of like slowing people down if there's a certain type of floor we can put in that's really slow to work on. Straw floor, maybe? Oh, it doesn't say what the walking speed of it is. I mean, sand has a slow walk speed. That's 76% walk speed on sand. Really want to put some, something that slows the walk speed here. Maybe a stockpile zone for, for rocks or something to slow them down. If you do it over here. It should be, for most of their guns, if they have, like, pistols and some machine guns and whatnot, it should be out of their range where we can still hit them. Might be an idea. I'm, I'm not an expert at defending. Like I said in the first episode, normally I go for more of like a builder-type run. So I, I put myself in a perfect situation to make it as easy as possible. But unfortunately, I can't do that anymore. And 7.4... After all the deaths, I forget who's good at what. Oh, I've gone, gone to bed anyway. I'll talk to them later. Let's have a look at these guests. Guests. So, allowed areas, unrestricted. Home. He's allowed in the home area. That makes sense. But do I want him in the home area? I need to make an area for them, like a guest zone, I think. And the shopping area, I need to figure out what that is. Try to entertain, try to recruit. No. Relationship damage when recruited. Uh... Interesting. Force recruit. Okay. Interesting options we've got there. What, so what I might do is quickly zone out an area. Expand allowed areas. Manage. New area. We'll call it... I forgot where area 1 was. I need to re delete area 1 and do something special with that. We'll call this... Guest area. And expand the guest area. So obviously they're allowed in the guest room. They're allowed in the courtyard. Not in the... Allowed in the courtyard area. Uh, do we want them in our grow zones and stuff? They do help out, don't they? So I'm going to allow them in... In there. Allow them in the grow zone. See if they want to help out there. And... Can I change the... Colour of that? Because that's a little bit... Oh, I don't, you can't, unfortunately. You can't change colours. It's a little bit unobvious. But it's got a rough area where they're allowed. They're just not allowed in my main section of the base. They keep to, they keep to themselves. So let's go... Where's the visitors now? Inside the main section of our base. Exactly where we don't want them. Uh, how... Guest. No, that's gear. Guest. Read, Ryan. Allowed in guest area. And make default. All current and future visitors. Yeah, so cool. So now they'll try to stick to their areas. We'll get Igor to talk to you. We'll haul all of these. And we'll build a granite wall there to keep that. Actually, no, we won't because we want to expand this out. One, two, to there. What have we got to sell? So we can sell the P90s. I kind of want to keep them because, like I say, 
Muffler will cowboy hat. I like the cowboy hat. I want to keep cowboy hats. So nothing we really want off them. Or nothing we can sell them really. I suppose we could sell them. We get a bit. Not a great deal for selling our cloth. So keep our cloth in case we need to make more clothing in future. Uh, is there anything? We definitely don't want anything. I'm going to keep the other two guns because I'm planning for five people. So I want five lots of guns. Uh, da -da. If I do this, this is going to... But the set temperature in here is 21 degrees. I'm actually going to put in a uh, temperature vent there. So this is also 21 degrees. Out of an unfinished tree zone. And this I might as well... If this is going to be 21 degrees and this is going to be 21 degrees, I might as well put a vent in where that's going to go. Just deconstruct that. And put a vent in where that should be. And then if we have to put in another cooler there to, to use it, then we'll do that. But I can't remember. I, since the like the massacre, I can't remember who's good at what anymore. I think Robbie's Bobby's our best character. He's got a bionic bionic arm, he's got a few things going for him. I'm not sure what these other two are quite so good at. So I need to relearn that a little bit. Oh, come on. Keep watching your constructions. If you remember rightly, they're all really good miners, but they're bad constructors. That's, that's the gist I've got. I do want to just deconstruct this, but I want the area closed in first. I want them to finish off building and then we can de deconstruct that. I don't want to distract them. Help wanted. The fields have yielded far, far more than originally expected and they can reuse help with the harvest. If you want to help them send a caravan capable of growers, you can review this offer by selecting the Beat Hamlet on the world map. Beat Hamlet, remember that. Because oh, we missed out on that last time, I do want to give that a try. So there you go, he's deconstructing that now. We'll deconstruct yeah, deconstruct that. Put in da, 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 a temperature event there. And marble wall there and there. It's not the prettiest looking thing. I probably could have planned this out a little bit better. But at least we've got more space now. We can stick in the uh, proper research bench. And maybe we've got more space for more little dicks and doodads in here. Otherwise, everything's going okay. He's building the sculpture as planned. He's cutting rocks. That's good. We need a steady supply of rocks. I'm happy with that. Help wanted. Yeah, we're going to delete that for now. So, as before, let's make sure that this temperature looks... The temperature this room is nice and floored. So, mosaic paving marble. Is that what's on the floor here? Yes, mosaic pa paving marble. Fuck off. Like so. We don't actually don't have any floor there. I don't think we can build underneath the batteries anyway, so that's not a big deal. And deconstruct that. Oh, do we have the actually the oh, construction needed six? Ooh, got that just in time. Okay, so we don't have anyone that can construct. This is what I was saying. Let's pause it and have a look at this. Bio. Shooting, plants, intellectual. Not much else. So he's a... And social. Cooking's... Cooking... No, cooking zero. Okay. Tired. Construction two. Shooting two. Cooking, plants, medical, and intellectual. Ah, so he's he's a medic. He's a doctor, of course. He's a doctor. I remember when he came in, we were like, glad he's a doctor. An intellectual, he's a researcher and a miner, still not great on construction. Okay. That will come with time. It's not a big deal. We'll just have to work around that for now. We can like put in some floors and stuff and... Oh, raid. They'll prepare for a wall, then attack. Good, it gives me time to suss them out. I thought it was just two people then. Uh, six people, mainly melee, one with a gun. Oh, we can handle that, I think. I believe we can handle that. 
just need to be clever about it. We don't have any melee weapons, do we? No, that's one thing we sh we're missing out on. And Bobby's going to be back. So let's, not, let's switch to that. Drop the uh, thing. Anderson, you you equip it as a sidearm. It's 18%, but at least it's something. Yeah. So at least then, when they burst in, they're going to target these two guys first, I imagine. So at least they'll have melee items. Okay, so they're attacking now. So, and Anderson's on a break risk. Darkness, slept in the cold. It, it, it is cold night. And let's just check the temperatures. It's not too bad. There's no reason. I suppose it's because we've talked, done this, haven't it? And that makes it a bit harder to heat up. And that's why we didn't put a vent there. That's unroofed. Okay, okay. We get rid of the vent. We might be okay there. That was uh, bad thinking on my part. Some of you are probably screaming at my screen when I did that. Not important. We're getting raided. <laughs> I'm getting distracted here. So, Anderson, you come in. Bobby, you come in. Okay, so let's see how the kill tunnel works a little bit better now. Your guns have got a shorter range. You can handle it. So as soon as they come in here, they're going to get shot at. What's his range? He just stopped there for no particular reason. Oh my god. They can't hit anything, can they? Okay, cool. I was going to have to start manually intervening then. Come on, you can get him. This is where the kill tunnel comes useful as well. Keep picking them off as they're leaving. There you go. Sweet. So you capture him. You capture him. Uh, that's all of them for alive, isn't it? Turn off the uh, the heat map. Take all their shit. Slate club. Steel knife. Slate club. Okay, so we've got enough for... Uh... Oh. Bobby, you take... The Slate Club as a sidearm. Anderson? No. Igor, you take. Slate Club as a sidearm. And then undraft. Undraft. Oh, we've got one more. We can have him. Capture him as well. Uh, do we give them herbal medicine? We better not be giving them herbal, herbal medicine. Never mind. Yeah, by default they're offered herbal medicine. Not a big deal. We just we've got to grow more. We've got real medicine for ourselves at the moment, anyway. So old gunshot, old gunshot. That's a shame. No permanent damn. Oh no, old gunshot. Left long destroyed and oh, ambrosia addiction. Okay. So unless you're something special. Too smart, sanguine, body purist. Oh, fucking body purist. Look at the stats though. One construction. Yeah, you're you're gonna. I'm gonna release you because I'm gonna. I need the. Uh, need the friendliness from your tribe, really. Getting ugly tough. I like tough. Construction six. What's he got? Old gunshot in his left leg. Hmm. Just make sure we don't need any. Okay, so they don't need anything. He might. Old gunshots aren't the worst thing in the world, but I just I like having them perfect, you know. So I think what I'm gonna do is you can get released. Oh, I didn't look at you, did I? Construction seven, and he's got a passion for it. Underground, a good cooking, no shooting. Can't do much else though. He might make a good hauler constructor type person. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, you can stay, you can stay. You're getting a leg. I mean, getting your leg off. You're getting a leg. And you can stay. So we'll put you on... Uh, recruit. We'll put you on 
recruit. And we'll put you on. Yeah, no interaction. Tower's infected. Not a big deal. We do want him to stay alive, but I'm not overly fussed. It's an infection to the torso as well, so we can't, we can't chop that off, unfortunately. Uh, it's... With no medicine and a shitty environment, it's going to be hard to uh, both heal him and convince him to stay. But we'll, we'll give it a go. We'll give it a go. Let's go to the world and see what's going on vis-a-vis. -vis. Oh, no. Pause. Uh, annual Expo, Peace Talks. Andon Trogo. White Camino. Where's this other one? Beat Hamlet. That's miles away. How much of a distance away is that? If we send... Who's, who's the best grower? Plant six. Plants four, and I don't want to send Igor. Oh no, I could send Igor. Plants eight. Yeah, I'll send Igor. So if I send I Igor, choose route to there. Two and a half days. And I can take all the pemmican. That's not enough food. Nine nine days worth of insect meat, but it rots in one. Unfortunately, I can't do it. It's just, it's not going to happen. It's that it's two and a half days is a long time in the room world. Well, especially to go without. It's going to be four days without a, a guy in my base when there's stuff to be done here. It's just not worth it. Worth it.